there's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Time again for the Underdog Show, starring that champion of champions, Underdog. <laughs> The most wicked man in the world was Simon Bar Sinister, and it was Simon's ambition to rule the world. To do this, he tried many terrible schemes, but each time he was stopped by Underdog. One time, he invented shrinking water. <laughs> One squirt of this, and a six-foot man becomes six inches high. Simon says, shrink. <laughs> oh, I'll be the biggest man in the world. But before Simon could shrink everybody in the world, he was stopped by Underdog. Still another time, Simon invented the weather machine. Simon says, thunder, lightning, rain. <laughs> oh, pull out the whole world. But Underdog stopped him. Then Simon invented the fiendish snow gun that turned people into snowmen. Simon says, go snow! But even as Simon was taking over the world, Underdog attached... Go snow! Go snow! But Underdog moved around so fast that Simon got dizzy and... Next, Simon invented the forget-me-net. Simon says, forget it. What's your name? A name? Name? But just as he was about to drop a forget-me-net on Washington, D.C. There's got to be a better way to rule the world. See, look there. Election posters, vote for Smith, vote for Jones, vote for Brown, vote, vote, vote. That's it. <laughs> I run for dictator. Then when I'm elected, I'll be in complete control. <laughs> and so the campaign began. Everywhere, old posters were torn down and new ones were put up. Beautiful. Simon for dictator. Vote for Simon. He's true blue. He will do a lot for you. All right, Cad. Now we'll make this election campaign a big success by going right to the people. Pardon me, madam. I would like you to vote for me for dictator. Dictator? I wouldn't vote for you for dog catcher. Good morning, my good man. I want you to vote for me for dictator. You? You're Simon Bar Sinister, the wickedest man in the world. Nobody's gonna vote for you. Gee. <laughs> Ah, a busy little housewife. <laughs> Madam, I'm Simon Bar Sinister, and I'm running for dictator. Would you vote for me? Hmm? <gasps> it's no use, boss. Nobody's going to vote for you. Not quite. I know two people who are going to vote for me. You are, and I am. Yeah, but you can't win with only two votes. I can, if they are the only two votes cast. All we have to do is fix it so that nobody else votes. <laughs> yes. Come, I have a plan. 
What is Simon's plan? Can he really stop people from voting? There's plenty of excitement ahead in our next episode. Go, 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 first watch them. Go, go, go. Two little Indians, no others near. Colonel, he vows these two soon disappear. Fighting the army blue soldiers galore. What can two Indians do? Go, 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 first watch them. Go, go, go. Go, 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 first watch them. Go, go, go. Here comes the Colonel with his sergeant. Both are roaring and a charging. Go, 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 first watch them. Go, go, go. Go, 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 first watch them. Go, go, go. Telegram, Colonel. Bully! Bully! The yacht I've rented will arrive tomorrow. <laughs> I can hardly wait. A yacht, Colonel? As part of my new plan, Sergeant. Here, let me show you. Uh, we'll board the yacht here, and then, then move down the river to the Gopher Indian camp. We will invite those Indians aboard for an ocean cruise. An ocean cruise? That's mighty hospitable of you, Colonel. <laughs> of course. Of course it is, Sergeant. <laughs> yes. Uh, running board, I'm sure that you and uh, Rufflefeather will have a delightful ocean voyage with us. Um, at uh, government expense, of course. <laughs> yes. What did he say? Him say, where us go on voyage. Oh, yes, that's what I thought he said. Uh, down Gopher River, out into the Pacific Ocean, and on to a lovely island paradise. Ooh, whoopie doopie, we have fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sergeant, cast off. All right, crew, let's fall in and get to work. Yeah? What up? Uh, it's time for you men to go to work. You didn't think the sergeant and I were going to handle this yacht alone, did you? Now pitch in. Polish the brass, paint the cabins, mend the sails, swab the deck. And there's plenty more to do when you finish that. <laughs> Gee, Colonel, those gopher Indians don't like to be made to work. Of course not, Sergeant. That's part of my plan. When we get to our desert island in the Pacific, they will be so glad to stop working, they'll run off the yacht and stay on the island. You mean we'll sail back without them? <laughs> and the gopher gulch will be rid of the gopher Indians forever. <laughs> Mm, what did he say? Him say us had enough. Quit. Keep at the work or oh. I'll hang you from the yard arm. Look out, Colonel. Ah, well, this, this is not a mutiny. You said a mouthful, Colonel. I've got Ruffle Fenner. Well, if the colonel can do it, I can. Here I come, running board. Have them good swim, Sergeant. So, heading for the crow's nest, are you, Ruffle Feather? Well, there's no place to go when you get there, and I'm right behind you. I've got you. He jumped, and running board caught him. And now, they're chopping down the mast. Stop, stop, stop in the name of the United States Army, or the United States Navy, or the... And when you finish mop em deck, you paint em cabins, cook em meals, sew em sails. What did he say? Him say, 
Land ho! Y'all be sure to be with us for our next exciting adventure. Maybe when the Colonel and I get on land, we can get everything mopped up. My adventure there was truly unbelievable. I believe you, Commander. The village beside Lake Tortuga was starving. All the fish were being eaten by a giant snapping turtle. Naturally, they sent for me. First, I lassoed the beast. He jerked me through the air, and I rode him like a wild steer. Finally, he bucked me off. I carried the town cannon to the lake and fired at him. So thick was the turtle shell, the cannonball bounced off into the water. And everyone starving. How devastating. Yes, but I cleverly devised a plan. I fired one ball after another into the lake. The sizzling heat of the cannonballs rapidly brought the water to a boil and finished off the huge turtle. And the fish as well. What could the people eat? Turtle soup, of course. I say, Commander, how... how tasty. Right. Simon Bar Sinister had decided to get elected dictator, but quickly found that no one would vote for him. <laughs> Who cares? I'll fix it so no one will vote but you and me. And then I'll win by two votes. How are you going to make sure no one else votes, boss? With one of my diabolical machines. We'll test them on you. <laughs> There's our voting booth. All you have to do is go in and pull the lever and... You voted. Now I'll shoot you with one of my diabolical machines and see if you can vote. Simon says... Sneeze! <laughs> <laughs> Versus it failed. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Now, Cad, Simon says, cry. <laughs> Another failure. Well, back to the old drawing board. All right, Simon says relax. <laughs> Not again. Won't anything stop you from voting? Let me see. Hmm, this should do it. Simon says stand on your head. He'll never vote that way. He can't even reach the lever. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Ooh. How am I going to stop people from voting? Hey, boss. There must be some way. Hey, boss. Meanwhile, things were going on in other parts of the world. The Leaning Tower! He's going to crash! Get on the dog! 
And far away on the other side of the world, Underdog's amazing hearing had already picked up the cry for help. When towers are falling, I am not slow, so it's hip, 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 and away I go. There's no need to fear, Underdog is here. Underdog, Underdog, you've got to come right away. At the moment, sweet Polly, I'm riding this tower. It may fall again without my power. But Simon Bar Sinister is trying to get elected dictator. Let Simon rave and let him gloat, but he won't get a single vote. But what if he invents one of his diabolical machines? And that's exactly what Simon had finally done. Here it is, my greatest invention, the tickle feather machine. Simon says, laugh. <laughs> well, aren't you going to vote? <laughs> yeah, well, what for? for? <laughs> I'm happy. Happy. <laughs> I'm having too much fun to vote. <laughs> it works. It works. <laughs> I'll get everybody laughing so hard they won't want to vote. And then Cat and I will vote for me, and I'll be elected dictator. Will the Tickle Feather machine work on everyone? Will Simon be elected dictator? There's a thrilling time ahead in our next exciting episode.